the desirability of technology is very critical and important. Uh, people do look for the value in the technology that they are buying. And then as an example, if you just look at the mobile phone, uh, people do feel that it does have an impact on their livelihood and, and how it impacts their lives. Uh, and they are much more amenable to go spend money on the technology. Disposable income is still very small uh, in India and, and people want to use their money wisely. On a daily basis, uh, they're worried about the income that they're getting and they're worried about how they can continue increasing the income that they can um, get uh, on a daily basis. And they look for various ways to go up that kind of income chain. A lot of times, uh, livelihood really means you know, basic things. Is how, how can they get you know, food at a lesser price or how can they sell their um, know, uh, the agricultural items uh, at the best price they can get in the market. Uh, today, if you look at majority of the farmers in India, uh, they struggle to actually take their produce out to the urban areas or out to the areas where they can sell. And by the time they reach it you know, after eight hours or 10 hours, they find out that's not the price that they want. Uh, they, they really don't have no other option than to sell it at the lower price because they've already spent eight hours and you can't kind of bring the produce back. Mm -hmm. Whereas if they had technology where they could just sit in their home and they could just figure out where they're getting the best price, they can plan their journey where they're taking the produce and selling it in a much better fo fashion. An average consumer in India uh, does want the technology to be very easy to use and not very complex and complicated to get whatever they want to get done. Tablets, it's, it's still a, a, a new entry into the market in terms of the you know, uh, product introduction to the average consumer in India. Uh, clearly from an ease of use perspective, people find it very interesting. Uh, it's definitely more easy to use than other products that they were uh, familiar with before. Uh, the cost is high, um, so it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to really take off. Uh, and, and I think until the cost is reduced uh, and it's available to the consumers at a reasonable price, uh, that may be a barrier and may be a challenge. And then the third aspect of it is from a content consumption perspective, uh, again, an average consumer in India is really consuming content for the most part of it. So for them, it's a lot appealing uh, to be able to have a device that's primarily focused on content consumption. The country has started really growing its economy uh, and, and a very healthy GDP of seven to eight and a half percent every year. Uh, uh, the government wants to make sure that they're using technology uh, as, as we look forward in the country to help continue and sustain the economy. So there's a tremendous number of uh, programs that the government is investing in to be able to drive technology adoption. As an example, uh, the government has a unique ID program, which is to provide uh, a unique uh, identity to every citizen in India. And the thought process behind it is once they get that kind of unique identity, then they can use the unique ID to deliver various government services and e-governance solutions. And there's a big thrust on education. Um, people in India do value education significantly, and the government is putting in a lot of effort, both from a policy perspective as well as you know, implementing some of the uh, uh, policy elements of it so that education can be more digitized, uh, you can have more technology that's helping education reach to every corner in India. Uh, similarly, health uh, in terms of how technology can be used for various health-related uh, applications uh, in the overall system that the government wants to see happen. One of the things that the government uh, has been driving in India is uh, financial inclusion. Uh, how do you take banking uh, to every doorstep uh, or, or doorstep of every villager? And in order to do that, they were you know, kind of looking for technology that allows uh, secure banking transactions to be done in the rural areas. In that context, we got involved in, in, in developing uh, a, a product and a design, uh, which we call the universal handle device. That's an atom-based embedded product that has a printer, uh, a GPRS, a smart card reader, um, as well as uh, you know, various ways that uh, customers can mix and match those capabilities. Um, and that allows the customer to run the same applications and the same tools that they run in the brick and mortar bank that they do the transact regular transactions. So this gives us uh, an opportunity to make sure that a product from Intel running on Intel architecture is perverse throughout the banking uh, industry, whether it is 
doing the mobile transactions in the rural areas, whether it is doing the uh, transactions in the brick and mortar building uh, or whether it is uh, the back end server or the back hall. So that is the universal handheld device and it can be used in other areas like logistics and other applications uh, you know, for inventory tracking uh, and, and better managing management of uh, the inventory that uh, is being distributed out in the rural areas in India.